Hello and welcome to Jumpin' Johnny Gaming. This video is a walkthrough of how to get 3 stars in 2 Point University for 2 Point Campus. You unlock this once you have 1 starred all the previous campuses and this is the 13th and last campus in the game. You start with a huge plot of land that you can build on. There is no other land to buy and you choose what courses you can do. The last course I have not done so far is the School of Thought. The only 4 year course in the game and you will get the achievement or trophy for having students graduate on every course if you have followed all the other videos and done all the campuses to 3 stars. This will be a lengthy campus as one of the 3 star tasks is to get your campus to level 35. So don't stop building and squeeze as much stuff as you can in a giant area and about 3 or 4 academic years when the money starts flowing start upgrading and extending every room to get the individual rooms level and don't forget to copy the upgraded rooms when you need a duplicate. The first two years slowly build your campus, don't worry about taking loans and don't spend over 50,000. You end up doing basic versions of rooms every month or so, make sure you do dormitories first and then wait until you get the complaints and build the rooms when required. Bathroom showers should be the next priority and then you will need a pastoral and medical room eventually. And staff room and student lounging union for the entertainment and happiness. Only put the minimum stuff to the room first until you can freely afford to put more stuff in. There is a two star task like breaking point where you have to have all five clubs to level five. So make a start and put in the four clubs but not the orb stand until last until you complete all the other clubs and by then you will have a happy campus and then put in an orb stand as that will drag happiness down until the two star tasks are complete and you can delete the orb stands. The first three years don't spend any money in the last four months so you have enough money to build the campus requirement rooms. The first star task is you have to get 30,000 profit. This is easy and you'll get it about the third academic year. There is two star and three star task versions of profit. Never employ too many staff and doing up dormitories as the first room to do up when you have the money so you can have more rent and up in the campus level and the school of thought course with campus coins to attract more students. And if you want to train a teacher to level 10 for the achievement or trophy, this is the best time as it's the last campus and you have to build to level 35 anyway. The second task is for students happiness to be over 70%. Make sure all needs are met, have vending machines for drinks and food and benches for social interactions next to the machines. Attractive rooms and campus helps, make sure plenty of bins around and a few janitors. Student union and lounges for entertainment and pastoral medical and private tuition rooms are needed as well. They are a lot happier during the summer break and it can be bumped up if you haven't got it during the academic year. You need campus level 18, I will show you my build after 1, 2 and the final build after 1 star. And the final task is to have 10 level 5 rooms, this will go hand in hand with campus level, as once you build all the rooms you want to up all rooms very high levels anyway. Once you've got a fully functioning campus, build 2 training rooms and a research room and start researching for extra money in Kadosh and training your teachers to as high as you can, don't forget to employ a few extra teachers to cover the classes. This is after one year, I had to build a gym, extend the campus slightly to the left and you can see the very basic minimum rooms. The students are happy enough but at this point, grades will not be great so you will have to keep sending to private tuition until your campus gets better. You students should make a good first the second year, not much has changed. More mandatory classrooms and student lounge have been put in. I have now done the dormitory to level 13 to get lots of rent and money is going to come in a bit more now. The lights, the dancing and... So on. If you like music, this really was music. I think the campus could do with some better signage though. <laughs> I mean, I almost missed the concert and this segment. By the end of year four, with the first batch of students graduating, the achievement unlocked for having graduating students in all 17 courses. Results have been released. Luck won't help you now. By the end of year 5 I have finished the 1 star task. The campus now is a giant square but you still want some garden around the edges so when students want items built in their mail requests, all rooms mostly done up to max, some rooms are moved around and gym and classrooms extended to fit more items in. Remember to upgrade lecture rooms to max and the classrooms as we'll need to work more on education next. The academic year is over. Students must vacate the campus.
So the first task you need to work on is getting all the clubs to level 5. A better way I found out, if you put a single club and all the items dotted around the campus to level it up, and as soon as you reach level 5, delete the club and add in the next one and repeat the process. I would leave the orb club last as that brings happiness down. Don't delete the previous club items, only the stand. As when you have finished all 5 clubs, put the usual 4 clubs back up for the benefits, but not the orb stand. You need a monthly profit of 60,000, this is easy enough and like me it will unlock on the first month. You have to have an average grade of A, this proved tricky for me and I got B plus as an average and I was training everything up and upgrading, but when I finished the clubs and on the summer break I expelled everyone who was C plus or below and that got me the A grade task. And the final task is to get the campus over attractiveness level 85%. Go to the options in the bottom left of the screen, click on the eye icon and select attractiveness and fill your campus with items in grey areas to turn into green. Use expensive items and mix up the items to help towards your campus level. Put bins everywhere and hire lots of janitors as rubbish on the floor decreases the attractiveness. Level up every room you have and make sure they are copied when needed. Higher level staff add to the campus level, so hire new ones to replace lower level ones and train your staff as much as you can. I had 4 training rooms and 4 pastoral and first aid rooms as you get a lot of students. Here's an overview of my campus after two stars. Built another massive campus to the right with the usual rooms and mandatory classes. In and out the campus full of items placed everywhere with around four areas in each large campus filled with vending machines, communal seats and arcade machines dotted around. Q, over to you. Over the years, Crumley Supermarket has fed countless students all over Two Point County. None more than Crumley's flagship store, right here in Duckworth. Sadly, no amount of coupons or discount fish is going to save the store this time. No, after failing their third inspection of the week, this much visited market will be closing its doors. As I sit here, riding the mechanical pig one last time, I can't help but think of all of the good times. The end of an era, that's for sure. Education is non-refundable. The first three stars for three tasks are very easy, getting 100,000 profit a month. If you got a giant smoothly run campus with fully maxed out dormitories, my school of thought was at level 9, and that had about 170 students in the campus, more than enough to get lots of profit. You only need one month, so fire some staff if needed. You have to have the students happiness over 80%. You have to have all the student needs met, plenty of dormitories, bathrooms, showers and food and drink. Build three student lounges and place lots of arcade machines around the campus. Make sure you have about four or five first aid and pastoral rooms and if it doesn't reach 80% during the academic year, wait until the summer break and the students will reach more happiness level with no classes to do. You have to build your campus to level 35, do this by filling in the rest of the space you have got. By level 9 of School of Thought you don't need to put any more mandatory classrooms, so fill your campus with every fully upgraded room you can. While I was waiting for the 100 grade A plus students, which took a very long time, I upgraded my campus to level 42, which mainly happened because I upgraded every teacher to level 9 and bestow and first aid to level 10. If you manage to get your campus to level 42, you can have your School of Thought course upgraded to level 10, and then train a teacher to level 10 to get an achievement or trophy. You can get this in any other trophies except for earning stars in free play mode. 
And the last task, which took forever, way into academic year 20. The first two years I didn't get any, and the grade average was on B+. Constantly got lots of students with question marks. I wouldn't worry about this. It means they are lost, and the campus is too big, and causes them to have complete meltdowns. I witnessed students burst into a toilet right outside a toilet. So just ignore them and expel them if you want. What I had to do, and eventually I started to get a few graduate, and the numbers doubled every year, is build about six training rooms in total, employ a few more extra teaching staff, and train them all to as high as you can, and then add in some inspiration skills as well. I would train all library staff to max and private tuition to max as well, as I had a very happy campus and I didn't have to do anything else. All events was automatically done every year, had plenty of money and the campus was fully automated. So I just left it running and did other things in real life and kept an eye to train more staff and finally I got it. No pressure. Results have been released. Luck won't help you now. reminded that dogs don't eat homework. Now here's a quick overview of my campus after three starts. As you can see from the two start overview, I just copied previously existing rooms until I got campus level 35, then added more training rooms and private tuition rooms to help with the grade average to help push students to that A plus rating. Now at this point, and if you have done all 36 stars in the game and followed all of my videos so far, you should only have two achievements or trophies needed for 100% completion. We can do the first now, and if you don't want to ruin your giant campus, as you never know if you need it, if any DLC gets added, as two point possible head expansions and free updates with added achievements and trophies. Go to your options and disable autosave, and the achievement I'm going for is to have 100 students quit. You might have already got this, so you can ignore, but I think I had about 30 students in total quit in doing all the campuses. Then proceed to delete all rooms except classrooms, and delete all vending machines and fun stuff to do around the campus, and it still took about two academic years before I got the required 100 students to quit. Once you got the achievement or trophy, exit the game without saving so it does not affect your campus build. wall until it disintegrates into a fresh and flaky nothingness. It'll take a good couple of hours, but boy is it worth it. And the final achievement I needed is to train a teacher in all 17 courses to level 5, and you have to use a training room to do this. You can't just hire a level 5 teacher, and I had about 3 or 4 teachers left, and I had to go into each of my campuses and check and train a teacher in that class until I got the teacher trained. And on Xbox it does have achievement tracking, so you can see your bar go up with each successfully trained teacher. 
In the world map, go to the first campus, Freshly Meadows, and go right to each campus until you get to the one that you don't think you have done. You don't need to do Freshly Meadows or Mitten University, as you can go to the campus with the four classes running that include Scientography, VR and Robotics, and the Gastronomy classes in the Spy School campus. Noble Stead was one for me. I didn't have a teacher at night school trained to level 5, and you will see the percent come up. The other ones for me was Wizardry and Dark Arts and Spiff and Moore, and the final one in Upper Etchen for Countercultural Studies. So you have to get to every campus, Noble Stead onwards, and train a level 4 teacher, as you never know if you've trained one or hired a level 5, especially if you haven't kept track of what you did, or it's been weeks since you last been in a campus. It shouldn't take long, and that wraps up everything in Two Point Campus. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, where there are more strategy game videos, also the channel has achievement and trophy guides, secret and tips from the latest releases to classic retro games. Thanks for watching.